Hey guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video I am going to show you a step-by-step on how to set up and customize your Shopify store using a free Shopify theme called Craft. So this is one of the popular free themes available in Shopify. If you want to set up your store with this theme then make sure to watch this video until the end because by the end of the video you will get to have a full Shopify store and if you will want more guidance or have questions on how to customize different things on your Shopify store, feel free to watch this Shopify playlist. It has tons of short Shopify customization videos that I am sure will actually help answer most of your questions. Also, down below on my description, I have the best current Shopify deal where you're going to get three days free trials and then after that, you pay $1 on your first month. So instead of paying the full price for the actual plan that you're going to pick, you are going to save tons of money because you're going to pay only one dollar and you can use the rest of the money to actually invest on your business or do other things regarding on your business so make sure to use that link down below so you can save your coins and without wasting so much time let's jump straight in today's video after clicking the link this is the page that you're going to see this is like uh shopify questionnaires you can either answer them or you can just skip all of them it's really not a must but if you want it you can just go ahead and answer them so for now i'm just gonna skip all of them and then right now you're going to tell shopify where your business is actually located so you can select where you are actually located and as for me i'm located in united states so i am going to leave that there and then i'm going to click next and from here you're going to sign up in either with your email your apple or google or facebook or if you already have an account you can click here login and login with your credential but if you don't have a shopify account as of yet you can choose how you want to sign in okay so now after i created my account now this is my uh, shopify admin page the first step is to go and select a plan and as i said before if you're going to pay a one dollar if you use my link down below on my description this is the best current shopify I offer so you can pay one dollar on either basic Shopify advanced plan and this will be for the first month and if you're just starting out or you don't have a big budget to spend more on your Shopify I will recommend you to go with the basic because this is the popular plan and it's really good for solo entrepreneurs but if you have like a big business uh, you're growing you have teams and stuff like that I will recommend you to go with a Shopify but for this tutorial, I'm just going to go and select the basic plan. And from here on this page here, I'm going to fill in all my infos, my card number, if I want to pay with debit or credit card, or if you want to pay with PayPal, select this box here where it says PayPal and you can, you can, um, you can sign in from there but i am going to use credit a debit card so by today i have a free trial after three days and then after three after three days of free trial ended i'll pay one dollar for the whole month of august and then my plan will start shopify will start um charging me the actual shopify plan um on the september 8th and i'll pay this one 39 per month so another cool thing i want to show you if you want to save money uh like 120 dollar off um you can save with really billing so if you want to do that you can select this box turn it on and the discount will be applied you will save 120 on your plan so instead of paying every month you'll be paying so after the one dollar trial ended the next month you're going to pay the whole amount for the year so if you want to save 120 which is a lot of money that you can actually invest on other things on your business go ahead and turn this on and pay the yearly but if you don't have that kind of money right now you can just turn turn this off and you can pay um you can pay monthly so it's very important after that after you fill out everything click here subscribe so you can get started because after you're done customizing your store you'll be able to publish your store out there and customer will be able to see your website and they'll start shopping and you can start receiving payments so you have to do that first uh if you don't do that then your store won't be available your store will still be password protected if you click online here 
this is what you're going it's going to say your online store is password protected and in order to remove that for you to start earning money and start making sales from your store you have to pick a plan okay anyways so let's jump on the next step which we are going to pick a plan and in today we are going to customize our shopify store with craft plan so click online store and make sure you are on the theme page currently down theme is the current theme but we are going to use um craft theme so scroll down here and over here this is the shopify uh, theme library so for now craft is here i can just click here and add it right away but let's say you don't find the theme that you want to customize your store you can click here visit the install and then this link will take us straight into shopify theme library where you can find all the free theme and the paid theme and if you just want to see only the free one, you can select this one and you can find all the themes that you want to customize. So just in case, um, I have like tutorials, tons of tutorials showing how you to customize refresh theme, sense theme, down theme, um, taste theme, studio theme. So if you want to know, uh, I'll recommend you to go check it out. My um, Shopify customization page, uh, my Shopify tutorials and you will be able to find them anyways in today's video and also if you are interested on the paid one you can select paid and shopify will only show you the paid themes so for now i'm only going to do free one so um let's go ahead and add craft so click on the themes you want and then click here try them and the theme will be added inside your shopify store so let's give shopify a little bit of time so now it's adding um, craft inside my Shopify admin page. So let's give it like a few minutes. Okay, now craft theme has been added. And to make craft a current theme, click here where it says publish and then publish. And then craft will be our current theme. So now we are done um, adding. Now we have our themes. So the next thing we're going to do is start customizing our stock. So the first thing I want to do before going to the customization page, let's go here on the products and we are going to start adding products. So I am going to, this is how your product page is going to be looking like. And I am going to click here, add product. You're going to over here, you're going to put the title description. You can add product images and many more. So let's start. I am going to upload my product image from here. Okay, so I'm adding product image now and what I will actually recommend you when adding products, your product images, I will recommend you to add two or more pictures. Don't put only one picture because that won't be um because that won't be looking great your customer will want to see different angles of your product so and now i'm going to add my title and description okay so i am going to put the title and this is the product description here and then my product images and over here this is where the it's a category i am in the coffee and tea cups and drink wear so this is just uh shopify put this here automatically because of the meta fields and then if you don't see if this is the correct one you can just click here and find what is your category and then after that i'm going to put price so i'm thinking of selling this as for 22.99 and then the cost per price i'm gonna put this 10 um so that means i'm making profit of 12 dollar and this is my profit margin um and then i'm gonna go down here this is the physical product so i have inventory so i'm going to click here track inventory and then shop locations how many location do you have uh, maybe you have two locations or 10 locations you're selling this product you can select that there if you have one you can just put one and if you want to continue selling when out of stock, you can select this. But if you don't want to, you can unselect the box. And then going down on the shipping, this is where um, if your product is physical, of course, make sure this box here is selected because you'll be doing shipping. And then variants, you're going to pick variants like how many colors do you have? Maybe like you have clear colors, you can add that there. And maybe you have like another variant you can create here maybe um a size type here size and you're gonna say small or maybe you have another one different sizes so i'm just gonna put 
small, medium, and large. Large, okay, and then click done. And then after that, that should be good. And now let's go down here and edit. We are going to put the quantity of like how many are there. So we have 200 on each color. Put quantity. Okay, and then after that, that should be good. And this is how it should be looked like on Google when people are looking for your product. And then let's go up here. Make sure the product is active if you want it to be active right away. But if you want to put on a draft, you can select the draft. But I'm going to select active. And then you can write here a product type if you want to. So I'm just going to put like cups. Something like that and if you want to put a vendor name you can go ahead and put the vendor so that way if you have like so many products in your store it can be easy to know where you bought this product let's say you want to restock or buy more so having a vendor name it will save you so much time so you can write there if you want but it's really not a must and then going to the tags I like putting tags here so I'm gonna put cups so that way it can help like when people are coming on my website and start searching for products they can actually look out when they type in the title it will bring them automatically to the actual product just because i put tags in here so i'm gonna put their clear clear cups okay and then after that this should be good go ahead and click save so this is how you can add product inside your shopify store so now Shopify is going to tell us, congratulations, you have successfully added your first product. So if you want more information about product page, how to write, how to add a good title, a good description and things like that, I'm going to link all the video down below on my description where I went on all the details, how you can use ChatGPT to help you write an eye-catching product title and description so if you're interested make sure to um watch the video down below on my description i'll leave them i'll link them down there so now i have created my first product so i am going to add more other products i am and then after that i'm going to come back and we're going to move on to the next step so i am going to add more product and i'm going to follow the same process so now i'm done adding the rest of my products and i followed the same steps that i showed you on the first product and now the next step is to create collection so let's go here and click collections and we are going to create our collections here so I'm going to click create collections and in collection, you can create two different types of collections. There is manual and automated way. Uh, I would recommend you to use automated way because this is going to be easy. It's going to save you so much time, but manual, it's going to take so much time. Meaning every time you add a new product in your store, you're going to have to come back and add them on the collection manually, one by one, which is going to be really time consuming. So I have another video that I went into so much details about creating collections. So make sure to check the video out if you are more interested. So for now, I'm just going to create uh, a manual collection for now. So I am going to put here clear coffee cups okay and then you can put here your description and then i am going to add an image this is must to add an image for your collection so i'm going to click add and i am going to add from my computer so that's going to be my first collection in a manual way and then i am going to click save and then after that i am going to browse here product i'm going to click browse and i am going to add all my clear cups this one and this one and then I'm gonna click add and now my collection has been created and that's how you can create um, collection in a manual way now let me show you how to create collection in automated way so same goes here so I'm gonna put the title ceramic coffee cups that's be my title of my product I'm going to add an image for my computer okay and then you can put here a description and now in automated we are going to use condition so i am going to use um product tag which is really easy for me um 
and then here i am going to put is equal to ceramic i am going to add only one condition but if you have a more condition you can add them here uh, so let's say i'm going to add ceramic cups so that's going to be my other conditions and then after that i am going to select condition can be any condition it doesn't have to be both and then after that that should be good and i'm going to click save and my collection will be created like that so all products that has tags these two tags ceramic and ceramic cups will be added into this collection and as you can see here i have three products so that is how you can create collection so i'm going to create other collections and then after that we're gonna move on into the next step together uh so now i have added my collections so we have all our products if we click products here and then oh the collection that i wanted okay so now let's go back on the online store click online store and on the theme section and now let's click here customize so we can start customizing our store okay and as you can see my product has been added automatically so and now we are just going to do uh, the full customization okay so this is how the craft store demo looks like and i am going to try to customize something like similar like this uh it won't be the same thing but it's gonna be like similar so i'm going to show you how you can customize something like this so let's go back inside our shopify store so let's start with the announcement bar section here so this is our announcement bar and their announcements say check our letters bundles collection so let's go and type that in there so click here on announcement let's click this one back okay so let's click announcement bar here where it says welcome to our store and you can type in check our letters bundles collections so for me i'm just gonna say like 20 percent of The entire store and then this is how my heading my announcement bar is gonna look like but here they make this clickable so with this arrow that shows when people click this this link is gonna take them on this page here where um, they can buy the latest bundles so what I'm gonna do I am going to link here the collections that shows like everything is 20% off so I'm gonna click collection and I'm gonna put all collection because everything is 20% of the entire store so this link will take them straight into this collection and after that I'm gonna click save and then I'm gonna go back so that's how it is so now next let's see so this is their logo um, so I am going to upload a logo so let's click here on the main menu and I am going here if you have your logo already okay so to do that click this box here and then we are going here desktop logo position and then we're gonna click here edit your logo and then settings so click them settings and we are going to select an image that is going to represent our logo so if you have your logo already you can go ahead and select an image so i'm going to click select and i'm going to select on my computer so for now i'm just selecting just a random logo i created so i can show you how you can do that so i'm going to select that and i am going to select so this is how the logo is going to be looking like and we can change the width of the logo if we can see here this is how the logo is looking like so i'm going to change it the size of the logo and see okay now it's coming nicely so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna leave 50 percent uh like that so you can 50 percent 50 50 pixel size so you can change the size you want and then uh, that should be good i'm just gonna click save so what i will recommend you is saving your work time to time so that way it can be easy for you for example if your computer restart you won't have you won't be able to lose all your work and stuff like that anyways let's jump on to the next step which is this menu here so i am going to show you how to create your main menu like this later on but for now let's create this title here they're saying sustain sustain sustainably crafted goods to elevate every day so let's go ahead and create this heading here so let's go back on our store 
and we are going to click this heading here and i am just going so you can type what you want for now but for me because this is just a tutorial i'm just gonna paste in everything there and then you can change the size of the text if you want to be large extra large medium i'm just gonna leave medium and you can change you can bold you can put like italy italic size you can also insert a link if you want but for now i'm just gonna leave it just like that this is the collections so i am going to add collection here so they have if you click here it's gonna take you on the glassware collections so they have a glassware collection textile collections dinnerware and things like that so let me go ahead let's go back in our store and we are going to add collections so click inside the box and we are going to select collection so we have few collections here. so i am going to add the ceramic coffee cups here and then after that i am going to click select and then i'm going to add another collection here select collections and now uh, let me try clear coffee cups oh i can try okay i'm gonna put the ceramic plate so i'm gonna leave them there and i'm going to click select and then i'm gonna click save so as you can see the images also adjusted itself and it kind of like look nice and clean so let's go back don't worry about this down here we're going to fix all of this in in just a minute and then next they have another collection here they have like uh, five different collections so let's add another collection down here so let's go back so here we have uh these other products the featured product let's find featured product here okay featured collection so on the featured collection here go ahead and put the i thing so we can hide this for now so i'm gonna click hide it and then so we can add another section where we can add collections so okay so to do that let's go here down here and click add section and then we are going to click like what we want okay let's go ahead and add collection list so this is the new section here and then we are going to click on the collection and we are going to add another collection so here we have clear plates I'm going to click select and then we're going to click another collections here we're going to select a collection um let's put ceramic coffee cups and we're going to add another collection click this collection we're going to change it change collection let's put this one okay i'm gonna click select and you're going to click this and let's put let's put the plate okay so my store doesn't have so many products so that's why they actually like my product collection looks um exactly the same but i'm just want to show you how you can actually do it so they have different collection glassware textile dinnerware silverware flatware so this is how you can actually do it so and then now the next thing we're gonna do let's go back we're gonna take off this heading on this heading here so click the box this section here and then it's gonna take you here and then we're gonna take off the name of the heading and that's how it's going to be looking like so and then i'm gonna click save here okay so this is how our store is kind uh pretty much looking like for now so now down here they add a video so we are going to add a video as well so let's go and let's go click here add section and let's find a video so click here video and we are going to add a video so to do that you're gonna have to give your title a heading the video a heading so here they have a heading that says the details matter so i'm just gonna copy this to show you how you can actually do it so the title and then you can put um a heading size and now we are on the video so you can select a video so if you have a video you can upload it in here and then your video will be uploaded in here oh another option you can put you can put a link of the youtube link that the video will be shown here so you can 
choose either way how you want it and then the most important part we are going to select a cover a cover that is going to cover this video you don't want your store to be looking like this like going back to the themes this is the cover of the video so we are going to add a cover of the video so you can select an image if you have it um, in your store or you can explore for images since i didn't show you how to explore free images i am going to show you how you can do that so click free images and this vid and these images are actually free from shopify and i'm going to type in here teacups okay let's see let's see okay let me see how does this look like okay this one looks cute i kind of like it so you can play with the images you can find what you actually like let's type in plates and these are the plates uh let me see can select this i can select this so either one so i'm just gonna select this one Okay, and then click here, select after you find the image you want, and that will be your video cover. This is how the video length looks like. It's really long. I kind of don't like it. So let's go try to fix that. Let's go change an image, select from library. Let's see if we put this image here. Okay, this one is much better. I think this depends with the image you have um let me go change explore for images okay i'm gonna select this let's see the size okay the size seems to be good so what i will really recommend you is pick the size the size of your image um really matters if your image is like really long your video section here is going to be super long so i like this size so i'm going to click here select and so this is kind of looks similar like this in some way okay so now we are done adding our video so this is how our store is actually looking like for now the next step is going we are going to add these beautiful um reviews or testimonials so if you have testimonials reviews um let's go click here add section and we are going to add multi column so if you have reviews you can add them here on this case here they have reviews so for now i'm just gonna go ahead and copy th their heading but that's how you that's how pretty much you can do it so click on multi column you're going here and we are going to wrote the heading um and then let's go and see we're going to change the heading size let's put small so that it can be it can balance out like this here okay and then and then so what you're gonna do you can write here your reviews if you have or you can just write uh a little bit more about your product so you can click on this column here you can select an image you can put um maybe this one of your product here and you can write words down here to talk about some of your product like and then if you going back here if you want to take off the heading or put the heading uh you can just put a heading so i'm just gonna show you how you can do that it's so maybe like teacup or maybe like hmm i don't know really delicious something like that so you can add an image and you can say a few things you can come here and edit a few things add and things like that or maybe um uh, on this case as i said they wrote reviews so you can try to do something else okay so that's how you can do it and then you can go ahead and change the heading as you like cut and then uh, same goes to the other one and you can write things down there so you can just take inspiration from other stalls that sells like things like this and yeah something like that and then after that i'm gonna click save now let's go ahead and see what they did down here so over here they add another collections with so it's an image it's a, a collection with like cup of images on this section so 
let's go ahead and do that oh once more let's go back here and we're gonna take off this call to action down here the button label so let's go over here and clear this out and that should be gone okay let's go back now let's add another section and this section here is a collection with the images so let's go find it okay so we're going to add a collect so so over here they have a collection and small images and over here we have a big image and collection and a product title so we're gonna go over here on this side on the colleague section we are going to move the collection the collection is over here we are going to click these six dots and we're gonna drag it all the way on top so the collection can come here and now let's add a collection click there and then we're going to select a collections let's put this coffee here coffee cups and then we're going to click select okay and then let's go back now we are going to add an image so let's click on image and we are going to explore for images i'm going to type in here cups and then i am going to put this one this image and then now let's click here select okay and then let's go ahead and add maybe a product here another coffee cups and then we're going to click select okay and that should be good so now we have something like this let's go ahead and see here they wrote they have a title discover our bundle collection so you can go ahead and change your title so we're going to click inside there and we're going to edit the heading and we're going to click save their heading is in a small size so let's go and change it to small next going down here they have another category where they showed they explained the good thing about using these products for example here they say this is a responsible design transparent pricing sustainable sourcing and giving back so this is a section they talk more about their brands their products so what we're gonna do let's go back we are going to do something like that so i'm going to click add section and we are going to add mild column so we have three they have one two three four and if you want to add more you can just click here add column and you're going to have four of them uh, they have a heading no they don't have a heading so you can go ahead here click mount column and we can take off the heading okay and then we're gonna click inside the column and then we are going to put the title and then you're going to add an image and then you can edit the heading and so you can talk about your product on this section if you want to that's how you can do on this section another section they did this is like a blog post so let me go show you how you can add a blog section into your store so let's go back and over here i'm just gonna put an i think for that and over here oh let's take this button label to click inside of this inside of the whole thing and we are going to the button label and we are going to take that out okay let's go back so the next thing we are going to add a blog post so add section and we are going to click here blog post and this section will be added here where you're going to talk about your blog so i'm gonna add here paste from the magazines and then we're gonna go back and then we're gonna click here inside the first blog post let's click inside in here and then let's go here we are going to select a blog so select a blog and if you have a blog you can select from here or you can create a new blog so when you click create and over here you're going to create your first blog i'm just going to give this a title so let me put it's just a title i'm just putting it as a stage and then you're going to click here create a blog post and over here you're going to give it a title descriptions so i'm just going to do this for now and then i'm going to add an image okay i'm going to add the image of my blog you can put the author name okay and then i'm going to click save and my blog has been created okay and also make sure to make your your blog as visible so it can be visible right away and then we're going to click save and now let's go back our first blog has been created so 
let's go back to our customization page and let's refresh this let's go back so now our first blog has been created okay so this is how your store is going to be looking like and if you have more blogs you can just select this and you can add another blog there is a date the blog title and when they click here it's going to be clickable just like here you can see the heading image title and stuff like that so you can add as many blog as you can over here they have three so you can go ahead and add another another blog post so now that should be good for now now let's go ahead and customize the main menu we're going to customize the main menu just like this one here so let's do save and we are going to get off from this section okay so let's exit and from here let's click the eye thing here so we can view how our store is looking like so this is how our store is actually looking like it's actually like coming in together it actually kind of like look like um closer to how they did here so it's actually pretty easy to customize um the, this theme so next let's go customize the main menu as you can see our main menu looks like this so let's go on the online store click navigations and then we are going to create a new menu we are going to add a menu and we are going to give this uh, a title so let's give it as extra menu and then we are going to add menu items here so on here they have like dishware glassware serveware so let's go and add our collections so we're going to add pretty much these are their collections so go ahead and add your collection so i'm going to add collections i have ceramic coffee i'm going to click add add another one collections I'm gonna click add another collections add we're going to add another menu which is collections clear plate and click add okay and then we're going to save a menu so now let's go back our menu will still be looking like that so our menu has been saved let's go back to the theme sections Click here customize and we are going to change our menu so to do that click this section here the header um, the header section and click change menu and we're going to change menu and our new menu was titles as extra menu so now we have our new menu there and then click select and let's go save so another thing they do have they have this drop down menu so i'm going to show you how you can create this drop down menu okay to do that we're after saving let's go exit let's go back to navigations let's go to our extra menu and we are going to do the drop down menu so let's say you want this to go up like you want to arrange your main menu your menus you can do it like that so they'll be moving around okay now let's create a drop down menu so first of all we're gonna have to create and clickable and clickable link what i mean is for example if they click this one this is unclickable unclickable link but when they click it it's only gonna show a drop down menu so we're gonna do create add menu items and let's call this let's call this menu as fancy fancy plates fancy plates okay and then we're gonna go to the search and we're gonna put this sign here put this sign that means this is gonna be unclickable and then after that let's go and drag it all the way to the top so what you're gonna do you're going to grab one of the collection you created all the way up and then you're going to drop it inside there it's going to be inside the fancy plate and the drop down menu is going to show in here like the arrow so let's do the same thing grab it and go all the way here and put it inside there 
okay and you can do the same thing to the other ones too that you want so for now we have three that should be good okay now let's click save and then if you see here it's a drop down menu so let's go back let's go back to our online store okay let's refresh it okay so now you can see here if we click here we have a drop down menu we have um this is an clickable link with the drop down menu with all the collections and this is just a collection different collection different collections and this one has full of other collections too okay so and then let's click the to go back on home page okay so this is how it is looking like they have this drop down menu with different collections and other different collection as well they also have like bundles here okay so that's how you can do that and if you're interested to know how to create bundles i am going to link the video down below on my description where i showed you how to create a bundles in your store that your customer can buy color uh, your products in bundles and i'll show also how to link them up here and stuff like that so that's pretty much it and let's click one of our product here if we click here we this is how the product is going to be looking like with the title price um the description down here the color material they can add quantity they can add to cart they can buy it now and we have the search and things like okay so to create a photo menu we're gonna go back inside your Shopify store. And let's go on the settings. And we're going to look for the policies. So this is our refund policy, privacy policy, terms of service, shipping, and contact information. And all of these, they are coming from the Shopify uh, template. If you wanna use the templates, just click in there. And then over here, I created this before, but before that this page was like pretty much empty and the only thing you have to do is click here where it says insert template and then when you click insert template here this form will be filled out like this and after that click save so what i will recommend you is to just uh read thoroughly there are things that you're gonna have to take them off delete them and things you're gonna have to add them and things like that okay and same goes to the privacy policy privacy policy also you're gonna have to um you're gonna have to insert the template here and do the same thing in terms of service insert the template and then going back to the shipping policy you don't have a template here so you're gonna have to write it your own you can take inspiration from other businesses and then contact form you can insert the template just click insert template and save and you're gonna be good to go and after that we're gonna have to go back and we are gonna go back to online store and navigation we are going to add them on the footer menu here so i'm gonna click footer menu okay let's click add menu items and we are going to select that and we're going to select policies so from this case we're going to start with terms of service then click add i'm gonna go another one policies we are going to click shipping policy add another menu mm, policies we are going to add refund policy add another menu items collections oh my bad uh policies privacy and do we have one more let's see policies contact information and then click add and that should be good and let's say you want to arrange them you want something to be on the top you can just like drag and drop them just like that and then after that click save and that should be good and now if we go back to our online store okay let's click the i think we're going to find them at the bottom here privacy and things like that and contact form yeah so that is pretty much it another most important thing is setting up your payments so you can start making sales and receiving payments just go here on this 
settings let's go on the settings and then we're going to payments and over here you can set up your payments with shopify payments um you can do ad additional payments method like paypal or other third parties so i have a tutorial that i showed you how to follow these steps on um adding your shopify payments which is really straightforward you just click here complete setup and then you're going to submit details about your business it's only like two steps so over here you're going to put your business names categories and things like that um so you're just gonna follow the steps to complete these setups and after that you shopify is going to review everything and they'll tell you if you are approved or not but if you wrote everything correctly you'll be approved um it's just easy simple like that so i am going to link that video here it's down below in the description so if you are interested go ahead and check it out let's click customize and this is how your store is actually going to be looking like on the desk desktop section um and we click here on the mobile this is how your store is going to be looking like on the mobile setup so what you're going to do you can just like edit um the way you want your store to be looking like you can change the sizes the fonts but if your product your titles they're being seen clearly like this then that should be good to go so that was pretty much it that's how you can customize craft a shopify store theme i hope this video was really really helpful thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video